Hey, I want you to appreciate that non-essential amino acids are the ones that we can synthesize. And there are essentially, and there are really about 10 of them. Okay? So, in many cases, in many cases, they are the reverse of degradation. Okay? So, for example, you make alanine through transamination of pyruvate. ALT is a reversible enzyme. So you can start with glutamate and pyruvate and end up with alanine and alpha-ketoglutarate. This is very important. Transamination reactions are always reversible. So I'm not going to go through all of them in great detail, but I just want you to appreciate that in most cases, the synthesis is the reverse uh, is, uh, uh, of, uh, of degradation. Arginine <coughs> is made by the urea cycle, arginosuccinate lyase. Asparagine is made from aspartate. And aspartate is in turn made from oxaloacetate through the AST reaction. Cysteine, we just covered that. Methionine, this is really one of the detailed metabolic pathways you want to go through. Methionine to cysteine. Okay, so without methionine, you can't make cysteine. You need to uh, make cysta uh, hom from homocysteine, you go to cystathionine, then cystathionase breaks it down to cysteine. Okay, so uh, uh, you need serine in the process of making cystathionine. Uh, glutamate from alpha-ketoglutarate, either by transamination or glutamate dehydrogenase. Glutamine, we've already covered that. Glutamine is made by glutamine synthase. So this is really kind of a quick review, and glutamine synthase adds an ammonia to glutamate to form glutamine. And remember, glutamine is a key uh, a way to transport ammonia from peripheral tissues back to the liver or the kidney. The only two kind of proline, again, we didn't go into it in detail, but it uh, goes through uh, glutamate, through glutamate semialdehyde. Uh, but I want to point out to you here, serine and glycine. That's kind of new. Both of them, really serine, can be synthesized from a glycolytic intermediate. This is pretty important because that's the one link between carbs and amino acids. So. You don't need to know the details. It's made from 3-phosphoglycerate, which is in glycolysis, part of glycolysis. So 3-phosphoglycerate <coughs> can be converted to eventually 3-phosphoserine, then serine. And because serine and glycine are interconvertible, we'll cover that in a minute, then glycine can also be made from the same intermediate. And finally, tyrosine, Remember that it is derived from an essential amino acid, which is phenylalanine. Okay? So, very important. You need phenylalanine hydroxylase. Actually, similarly, remember that cysteine is derived from another essential amino acid, which is methionine. So, if either methionine or phenylalanine, if methionine is missing, you have to supplement with cysteine. If phenylalanine is missing, you have to supplement with tyrosine. 